Pelvic floor disorders are a very common disorder that we see that mainly affects the female population. One of the disorders that we see in patients who have pelvic floor disorders is what's called fecal incontinence. And that is a disorder we're unable to defer the use of the bathroom, whether it is for passing gas, liquid stool, or solid bowel movements. Majority of the time, we actually don't need to do surgery for this. There's specialized testing that we do in the office to determine what is the cause of this problem. Majority of the time, it has to do and may be related to prior pregnancies or prior surgeries. Majority of the time, we are able to control these symptoms with medications. Fortunately, majority of our patients, we can control their symptoms and get them back with these non-invasive options or medical management. However, there's a certain percentage of patients that don't respond to medical management. But luckily, in the past several years, there's been several options that have come along that are minimally invasive. One office procedure that we do now for this is that we can actually inject an agent that bulks up that area that helps improve our muscle control in that area. Patients have a great improvement in their complaints and symptoms. What's also been a new procedure that's been done for urinary incontinence has now been approved for fecal incontinence. And what this procedure is called is interstim. The interstim procedure is a two-part procedure in where we initially would, can do the first part, which is a temporary part that can be done in our office where we thread a tiny wire down to the pelvic floor muscles and to the pelvic floor nerves. And what we do is we have you keep a diary for two weeks. And if it's successful, then we go and uh, permanently place that wire. However, if it isn't, then we don't go ahead with it. But 90% of the time, most patients go on to have the permanent placement. There's very few surgeries where you get to try it, and if it doesn't work, you don't go ahead with the surgery. So it's really, I think it's a great option for our patients, and we're having great success with it.